What's up channel? Ty here. Back. Um, I haven't made a video in a long time. I'm trying to get in the swing of things because The Walking Dead's back. I um, haven't had many topics to talk about. So, yeah. Um, this is just going to be... My bed's all squeaky. This is just going to be a short uh, reaction slash review of the Season 6, I believe. Yes, Season 6. Uh, mid-season premiere, which was uh, No Way Out. Crazy, crazy episode. Probably, No Way Out's probably my favorite, if not one of my favorites, uh, storylines from the comic books. Uh, I thought it was just so cool how spoilers in the comic books, and actually this is going to be a spoiler for the episode, um, them all coming together and just taking down so many zombies because... For years, you know, friends who watch The Walking Dead or, you know, reading the comic book, you're like, man, these zombies, like, they're a threat, obviously, but they're kind of just slump, like, uh, you know, they're stupid. Like, you should, you'd be tired after a long time, that's the main thing, but you should be able to take charge and just really, really be able to take out a lot, so, um... I'm just going off the top of my head, this is an unscripted review. Um, Jesse and his sons are dead. So, um, this is nothing that surprised me, only because it's what happened in the comic books. I wanted them to do a completely different thing, only because I like that the TV show and the comic books are separated. I, I, pr I prefer that. Um, but... You know, it is what it is, and they didn't do it, and they decided to do the comic book, so it's cool. Um, so that happened, and Rick cut her hand off, which uh, I told all my friends, like, that was my th prediction, and they all, their mind was blown, and I haven't told them that it's because I read the comics, but, you know, they did that whole scene, and it was a beautiful scene, like, he had, like, flashbacks of her, and it was sad, and, you know, her son, her little son died because he started freaking out, and... Um, in the comic books, he peed himself, is what I remember, uh, off the top of my head. And then the zombies came in and ate him. Um, and then, again, this is a whole spoilers, Carl lost his eye, which I'm super happy about. I was debating if they were ever going to do that, because they haven't done the thing with Rick's hand. Uh, even though it's still bandaged up, I know a lot of people think that that is foreshadowing. I heard a lot of people think Negan might, uh, cut off his hand... I I don't know. I want to see it, but at the same time, I don't, just to keep it different. So, Carl lost an eye because Jesse's oldest son, who I can't remember the name just because I'm doing this completely unscripted, his mom and brother died, and he already is messed up from his father dying, Porch Dick, which is uh, what they call him on Talking Dead. <laughs> um, so he shot Carl, but Michonne stabbed him before he could shoot. So the bullet went stray and grazed. It looks like, in the comic books, it kind of blew off this whole portion of his face. Um, but this looks like it literally just grazed, like, you know, this much of his face. So I'm okay with that. I prefer that. Um, and now he doesn't have an eye, and it looked freaking crazy. So, you know, there's that. You know, we got Jesse's death and the Rick cutting off the hand. Uh, probably my favorite scene is when they're all in the infirmary and Rick just goes outside. And he's like, screw it. Goes outside and is just wailing on zombies. Kind of like he did in season three when he entered the tombs when Lori died. Because at that point, he was just kind of like, you know, he was losing his mind. He killed his second love. He was genuinely falling in love with this Jesse girl. Uh, I think. Uh, more so than in the comic books, even in the comic books, I never really felt like he was loving her. I kind of felt like it was just something to um, fill the void, but I really felt like he was falling in love with this Jesse girl. So he lost Jesse, and he thought he lost his son. He's like, I might be losing my son. Um, so he's just going outside, he's freaking wailing on zombies, and I'm like getting chills because Rick's my favorite character, and I'm like, oh my god, this is just so cool. And... All the people, uh, Alexandria, they're all watching them outside the windows, and uh, they get the courage. Father Gabriel, you know, really redeemed himself. 
uh, in this episode, I think. He's been kind of redeeming himself the past few episodes, been really wanting to. Uh, he gave a really good little saying, you know, God gave them courage to uh, go out, and I just, I really liked that. I, I think he really, like I said, he really redeemed himself. I mean, I don't think anyone can really blame him anymore. I think he's become a really good character, and I hope that he just continues to progress from here, and I hope that everyone's good with him. So we got that, the wolf dying, and kind of saving um, the doctor lady, kind of saving her, you know, even when he went down, I'm going to have to, re I will be rewatching the episode, um, but when he went down, he, I'm pretty sure he said go, like he yelled, like go, or something like that, um, I'm pretty certain he said that, I'll, I'll be rewatching the episode and hearing for that specifically, but I'm more, I'm pretty certain he did, um, so he died, um, Glenn and Maggie reunited was great, was wonderful. There was a, we, they got us, you know, got me again thinking, um, Glenn is going to die. And, uh, you know, Abraham, Sasha and Daryl come back and save him. So it was awesome. And, oh, you know, forgot to mention in the beginning, we meet Negan's crew. If you guys watched on Facebook, followed them, they released the first four minute preview. Um, so you saw some of it. And then Daryl is the one who kills them all with the RPG that they had. Uh, shoots the rocket launcher at him and kills all of them right before they kill Sasha and Abraham. Here's the thing. It's confirmed. Spoilers for the end of Season 6. It is confirmed that um, Negan will be appearing at the end of Season 6. Now... Here's the thing. When Negan appears, they've also talked that the season six finale is going to change Walking Dead quite a bit. It's going to be a big deal, big groundbreaking thing. I'm beginning to think more and more that they're going to kill Daryl off. For a long time, I thought Negan's first kill would be Carol. But Daryl killed Negan's group. That could mean nothing, because... In the comic books, if I remember correctly, Rick killed Negan's group. And he um, was like, oh, well, you know, I'm just going to pick one of your guys because, you know, collateral damage. Um, so it could mean nothing. Or it could mean, you know, Negan will kill you because he killed his group. But how does Negan know who killed his group? You know, it's hard to say it's really hard to say uh he wouldn't know exactly who so maybe what they could do which i'll maybe make another video going in depth on this but real quick maybe like you know they'll kill somebody and then daryl feels guilty because he killed the group and he should have died blah 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 and i hope they don't kill daryl at the end of season six i hate daryl's hype but i do like the character um so i don't know but what a crazy, crazy episode. I can I can say with... That was not... That was one of the best episodes, if not the best episode of The Walking Dead, in my opinion. Too Far Gone, ranked number one forever, in my opinion. But, holy cow, that episode was action-packed. Some great character moments, some great character deaths, some nods to the comic books. You know, the freaking Daryl... Uh, lit put the uh, the fuel in the lake and shot the RPG to draw a lot of the walkers into the fire. You get the awesome scene with uh, them all, just Alexandria coming together and just slaughtering zombies. And Rick at the end saying, you know, I saw what they can do. And Alexandria is really going to be on the map. You know, they're really going to um, need what they, you know, experience tonight because of what's coming with Negan. So that was really nice. And, um, it was just a wonderful episode, a 10 out of 10, honestly, and all also at the end, again, spoilers to the very end, Carl's not dead, Carl's alive, we all pretty much knew it, you know, especially if you read the comic book series, you know it, he grabs Rick's hand, and uh, that's pretty much the end, so, man, you know, what a fantastic episode, like I said, 10 out of 10, my favorite episode of The Walking Dead so far. This is what I was talking about when people were complaining about the mid-season finale. You know, it wasn't, oh, dang, you know, it ended on that. Like, I wanted some crazy action. You freaking got it in a premiere. The last mid-season premiere wasn't action-packed. You got it. So, 
yeah, I loved it, guys. Walking Dead, uh, No Way Out, wonderful, the best episode, 10 out of 10. I will catch you guys later for some more Walking Dead videos, so I'll keep you guys posted. Peace out.